At the end of July, bikers will hit the Creeper Trail all for a good cause. Chris and Susie Owens are here to talk more about how you can take part in the 8th annual Creeper Trail Ride to End Cancer. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having us. Yes, well. thank you so much. So this trail ride is more than a trail ride. You all have so many activities going on for this kind of weekend event, and it's really about the community coming together for one common cause. Tell me a little bit about the event. Well, the event kicks off at 7 p.m. on Friday, July the 28th, mm -hmm. down at the Damascus Old Mill. Uh, it's right downtown, and the silent auction begins at 7. Uh, there's a buffet dinner. There's live entertainment. Uh, there are fireworks. Uh, and then the uh, activities commence again the following day on Saturday at 9 a.m. downtown uh, in the park. Uh, there's a speech by an oncologist. There's a survivor's walk, which is really special. Can I talk about the tent? And the tent. The tent. The, the, tent. the, the, survivors, survivors. the survivor's tent. The survivor's tent. And right. you were actually a survivor. We were talking a little bit earlier about this is so special to you because you were a survivor and you actually are taking part in it too, right? Right. Okay. Patrick French was my best friend. Him and his sister, Olivia, started this because they want to help us rare cancers. Mm -hmm. So to give us that survival. Oh, hope I'm not okay, yeah. And you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give us the hope mm -hmm. that there's, it's out there. Right. And my surgeon is like absolutely shocked that I'm still alive. Mm -hmm. And we are able to go into that survivor tent at 9 o'clock, get our goodie bag, and it's so much fun. And we get to walk out, get. Parade downtown. No, we get clapped up. To, yeah, up everyone to the applauses. Oh, we yeah. go up to the stage, they play music for us, and um, and it's happy music. It's a really, really happy, happy time. Yeah. And so what it's is that like sad. for you? Yeah, well, so what is that like for you to be around so many other cancer survivors it's, to it's, kind of kick off this event? It's exciting. The only time it's not exciting is when um, one of them aren't there anymore. Mm -hmm. But this is a way that people can honor everyone who may have passed, but also shine a light on those uh, those cancers that are so rare. And we all get to say what kind and how long and where we went. Yeah. It's very, very important because all this money may go to MD Anderson, but the information is shared with all these specialty hospitals. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned too, we were talking about how the whole community comes together for this event. You mentioned that the night before there's a you know silent auction and dinner, so it's not just a ride on the Creeper Trail, it's a really a whole event, right? It's a party. Yeah. It's a celebration, <laughs> uh, Friday night particularly, and yeah. um, but then it carries over obviously into right. Saturday and after the uh, survivors walk, mm -hmm. There's a parade through the center of town, and once you reach the end of that parade, that's when everybody can get on their mountain bikes, and if they want to go to the top of the mountain and come get you know, shuttled down, up there, yes. they can do that, or not. Yeah. Either way, you can be part of such a wonderful <laughs> and event. And that shuttle is free, right? Right. Yeah. And the, the idea is that people donate to the team of their choice with the goal, the minimum goal for each team being $500,000 raised for wow. The event. Wow, so it all goes back to such a great cause. And we were talking earlier, something you really want to mention are the vendors. And you even mentioned a specific necklace, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I um, last year was on your show, mm -hmm. the, the earlier right. show. Okay. And um, I, I, she saw me and she ran up and found me and said, Oh my goodness, you're that girl that was on the TV. And she said, um, Can I please buy you a necklace? Because there's all kinds of vendors mm -hmm. selling their stuff. And yeah. that's what you got. And, and your got, favorite color, right? Yeah, Which beautiful. is pink. And she asked me what my favorite color was. I love so it. So I had to wear it to show y'all. It's such it's such a great community event. I mean, you know, we talk about just everyone coming together for a common cause, but really being able to celebrate everyone that's there and really kind of give back. Um, anything else that you would like the people to know if they want to get involved with this? Well, uh, anyone out there facing pancreatic cancer She's seven and a half years out now. Mm -hmm. So I want to extend to them that there is hope. People do right. survive the disease long term. And, and so this is one of the ways that we hope to actually increase. Right. And uh, I just got back arms. from Johns Hopkins mm -hmm. and I'm in a study now and it's gonna help, this money's gonna help that goes to MD Anderson to help me 
and it's going to help all kinds of people mm -hmm. with the, with my study, mm -hmm. which Penny had her study. Right. And so this is going to help everyone that's kind of in the same boat. That yep. Wake it, Forest. That that, yeah. Uh, 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 well, Chris knows all hospitals. Yeah. Well, we appreciate both of you so much for coming in and talking about the Creeper Ride Trail to End Cancer. If you want to join, all the information is right there on your screen. The registration is at 7.30 a.m. and that is in Damascus Town Park. The website is right there as well, the Creeper Trail Ride to End Cancer.com.